हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व द नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन दैट इज फाइंड द कंडीशन दैट वन ऑफ द रूट ऑफ द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो शेल बी एन टाइम्स द अदर वेयर एन इज ए पॉजिटिव इंटीजर द क्वेश्चन इज दैट वी नीड टू फाइंड द कंडीशन फॉर ए क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सच दैट One root is n times of other. So the first the so <clears throat> let us now let us consider the given the given equation is x square plus b x plus c is equals to zero. We considered one root as alpha. Therefore, the question says the other should be n times. therefore the second root must be n alpha therefore as you call no the sum of roots is minus b by a therefore in this question the roots are alpha and n alpha therefore the sum of roots that is alpha plus n alpha is minus b by a we take alpha common we will get n plus 1 Is equals to minus b by a. The alpha will be minus b by a into n plus one. We basically send n plus one to the right hand side. Now coming to the product, the product of roots is c by a. Therefore, the roots are alpha and n alpha. The product of these two roots is alpha into n alpha is c by a. Alpha into alpha is alpha square into n is equal to c by a. Now finally, we will get the alpha square as c by a n. From this, the value of alpha is under root of c by a. From Sum of roots, we got the value. From sum of roots, we got the value of alpha as minus b divided by a into n plus one. From product, we got the value of alpha as under root of c by a. Therefore, we equalize the value of Alphas. The first alpha we got is minus b divided by a into n plus one. The second is clear that is under root of c by a n. We multiply squaring on both the sides, basically to remove this root. On doing squaring, we get b square minus a square into n plus one whole square is equal to c by a n. On cross multiplication, we will get A n into b square is equals to c into a square into n plus one whole square. Therefore, the condition to have the condition to have two roots, one is alpha and second is n alpha will be n b square is equals to n plus one whole square into c a. So this. Is the condition so that the one root is alpha, the second root will be n times of the another. This condition will be valid.